well many different places, including on a path where the seeds were eaten by birds, in a rocky trail with very little dirt, in a field filled with thorns, and in the rich soil. The rich soil is a place where the seeds can be nourished by the rain, by the nutrients, and by the sunlight to grow up to be the beautiful flowers and plants, the magnificent bushes and trees that God created them to be. What does this mean for you and me? When I was your age, my family and I decided I would nurture the seeds of my learning at IJP School. Along the way, I sat in the class of my second grade teacher, Mrs. Henbeer, who showed her students kindness first, then everything else followed. In junior high math, Mr. Lynch taught us ways to solve algebra problems that I still use for my current job these many years later. In eighth grade language arts, Mrs. Giddings taught us a great many things that helped me to appreciate a love of writing and reading that includes figuring out what the story means in addition to remembering what happens. You and your family have also decided that you will nurture the seeds of your learning here at IJP. Perhaps your homeroom teacher will teach you lessons about caring for others, as well as doing good things in our world. Maybe your religion teacher will help you understand about what this week's gospel story really means in today's world, especially for you. Your math teacher might help you to see a way to use fractions and cook, cooking a recipe to serve our cats, yes. Your science teacher may teach you about the different soils and what it takes to grow and nourish a seed. Your social studies teacher may provide you with information about the different people in our world. Your language arts teacher might teach you a method to write a wonderful story about what you see that's good in this world. Your art and music teachers might provide you with opportunities to create beautiful things from a striking piece of artwork to being a voice or playing an instrument in a wonderful song. Your health and enrichment, as well as your physical education teacher, may help you to learn the importance of taking care of yourself, as well as how to work together well as part of a team. The school tech department and library make it possible to use a computer, along with books, to assist you in your studies. The office and maintenance staff work in the background to make sure everything goes smoothly throughout your school day. The cafeteria staff make sure that all of you are well fed. Ms. Vermeer is here to make sure that all of you learn to the very best of your abilities. Father Mike and Father Edmund are here so that each of you realize how much God loves every one of you. The many teachers and staff at IGP School are here because their special mission includes helping, teaching, and caring for you. What does being a part of IJP School mean for you? God has given each and every one of you many gifts and talents that no other person ever in this world could ever do as well as you. God has given you a special job, and your teachers and staff at IJP are here to help you realize just what your special mission is. What makes IJP School like the rich soil of today's gospel? It is all of the people, the teachers and staff, the students and families, and the way each person lives his or her special mission to share God's love so that everyone may develop into the unique and wonderful person God has created them to be. I hope one day, maybe just a few years from now, I am sitting here in this church, and I see one of you up here at this anvil, talking to the future school students of IJP School, so that you may let them know what being a part of IJP School has meant for you. Thank you.